Genetically modified bananas grown in far north Queensland are being hailed as a potential lifesaver for thousands of people in Africa. Researchers have enriched the fruit with higher levels of vitamin A and now human trials are about to begin. They may look like ordinary bananas but this is one special crop. The fruit's been genetically modified to increase levels of beta carotene which is converted to vitamin A in the human body. We're looking for that yellow, particularly in the fruit pulp, which will give elevated levels of pro-vitamin A. QUT researchers have spent the past nine years engineering the plants. They're looking pretty good. The goal is to grow them in Uganda, where 30% of children are born with vitamin A deficiency. Still is a resistant population in the world. They're really the, the poorest of the poor. And probably the best way to get to those people is through their staple foods. Ugandan researcher Stephen Bohr examines the latest sample from the Innisfail crop. He says in a country where most people rely on the fruit to survive, these bananas have the potential to save thousands of lives. Children aged between zero and five years who have vitamin A deficiency are most likely not going to survive. About 10 kilograms of the bananas have been shipped off from here to Iowa State University in the United States, where human trials are about to begin. We are, we're very confident, actually. We, we already know from the animal models that um, the, the beta, beta carotene is highly available in cooked bananas, so that's really good. The project has been funded by the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation at a cost of $12 million. Once this project is completed and the products are released, the impact is going to be massive. The results from the human trials are expected in October. Louisa Rebgetz, ABC News, Brisbane. Thank you.